Okay, so Stable Diffusion 3 is out right now. There are a couple of ways to use this model through the APIs and using the Comfy UI. But in this particular video, we're only gonna talk about its Google Collab because it's free and online. You don't need any GPU for that. So let's dive in. So before starting the video, let's see what Stable Diffusion 3 is offering. So this is their Stability AI page where they announce the Stable Diffusion 3. And announcing a Stable Diffusion 3 in early preview, our most capable text to video model with greatly improved performance in multiple subject prompts, image quality and spelling abilities. Well, they have mentioned that this is a very improved model as we can see in these examples. Uh, this is really good in the text and also the images are really realistic. But there are some mixed opinions on the Stable Diffusion version 3 because it really doesn't perform good with the human subjects. And this is really shocking because this is their best model. Uh, but instead of a human characters, it, it works really good with the uh, object images and uh, other stuff. It really performs good. Well, there is a one more complication that this is not a one model. It comes in a three different models. So first one is the Stable Diffusion Medium that is publicly available to install on your computers. Then we have the Stable Diffusion Medium API that you can only use through the APIs. And at last we have Stable Diffusion Large Model which is obviously gonna be the best one. And most of the funky results that people are showing on the social media are mostly from the Stable Diffusion Medium which is their lowest grade model. And Stability AI also mentioned that the Stable Diffusion 3 suit of models currently ranges from the 800 million to 8 billion parameter. So obviously the model that we are using publicly available is gonna be around 2 billion parameters but their best model is 8 billion parameters which is a large one. Now let's talk about its Google Collab Notebook. So here is the Google Collab Notebook. You can take a screenshot of this URL or I will also leave the link in the description below. And again, special thanks to the Kamanduru who shared this awesome Google Collab Notebook. Now to run this notebook, just connect to the T4 GPU and run this first cell. And now this will start downloading all of the required models. Okay, so once this cell show you the green check mark, just scroll down and go to the second cell and carefully go to the prompt section. Now here is the default prompt, so you can delete this prompt. So I'm going to use this Stable Diffusion official image prompt. So simply copy this and let's paste it here. Now make sure that there should be no inverted commas in your prompt. Your prompt should be closed in these commas. Now next we have the negative prompt. So you can, so this one is the default prompt. You can also change if you want to. Now once you are satisfied, hit run button. And now this will start generating the image. All right, so this is the output image. Obviously, this is not as detailed as the official Stable Diffusion image. This is only because of the model. Now, here is a one more prompt, a cinematic still of a woman from a movie, realistic. And let's see how does it perform with the human character. Okay, so here is the output image and there is nothing like a realistic. But one thing to admire that it doesn't mess up with the eyes. Uh, the skin tone textures looks good. The details are good but this is not realistic but the good thing is that it doesn't mess up with the facial features well obviously this model is not so bad because we only have access to the lowest model and uh, obviously the 8 billion parameter model will be more refined and more realistic so if you want to give it a try and want to generate some stylized images instead of uh, realistic images like illustrations and all that stuff it's working good and this is free you can use this on a google collab and that's it from today if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and see you guys in the next one.